Hey, what's up, Bully Fam? This is Chris once again, signing in in another episode of Pilium Bully Camp channel. How to breed dogs, or in short, dog breeding. Uh, this is a very sensitive uh, topic because it involves the life of our dog, and they sometimes they are put in danger. So we have to plan ahead and be responsible enough if we plan to start breeding. Okay, I won't hold much of your time. Let's go. Female dogs usually have uh, two heat cycles in a year. Every six months, they usually have their heat cycle. But some, it's very irregular. Some, they, they reach up to eight months and up to a year to have their heat but average they usually have two hits in two hits in a year uh, breeding our dogs is not just a joke uh, you have to plan ahead and be financially stable when the dog gets in heat because that's when you need your money to spend on progesterone testing and all those uh, vet testing for, for your female dog Breeding dogs is not a guessing game. We have to do science on it. So if you want your breeding to be successful, we need the help of our veterinarian or as they call it, reproductive vets. They have a test in, uh, in the vet that is called progesterone testing. Yes, progesterone testing is uh, they collect blood from your dog. They check the levels of, the, of your dog's blood when she will be in the peak of her heat cycle so that there will be more ovulated eggs and you will have more puppies they do progesterone testing which tests the levels of the blood of your dog if her heat cycle is in peak level when you say peak level it's the time when you can do the breeding you can be sure that the dog will take but again, we are not God, so we're just basing our breeding with science. So when we do the progesterone testing, it is very important because that's when we can have bigger chances making puppies. There are four stages of heat cycle, of a dog's heat cycle. First is the proesterous. It will last from the first first day up to nine days usually so in the proesterous you're gonna see that your dog's private or vagina is swelling up so make sure you list that day down when the swelling goes up and count up to seven to nine days now when you're in the seventh day that's the time that you will bring your female dog to a veterinarian when you're in the vet they you need to do the progesterone testing progesterone testing is the process by which they draw blood from your female dog and they check the level of fertility of your dog that's when you know the that the levels of your dog to breed is at the peak level so that the chances of getting pregnant will be high and you can have more puppies after seven to nine day is the estrus cycle that's when the the dog will be looking for male dogs and that that she is in like her from her peak level going down so that's when your female dog will be looking for to mate and she's in uh, the level of breeding. After the estrus cycle, you have the diestrus cycle can last up to 60 days or 2 months. The value of the progesterone level at that time will be 30 to 40. But the success of breeding rate is very low already. So, but still the bitch can, 
get pregnant. The fourth stage is the anestrous cycle. This stage is the like the healing stage of the female dog, wherein the the vulva goes back to its original form and the ovaries get smaller back to its normal form until it gets to another six months and the female dog gets in heat again now the question is at what age do we need to breed our dogs our female dogs usually we need to wait for uh, the second heat because it's like a fruit when you eat a fruit that's not yet ripe uh, it's not good to eat it because it's not yet fully developed and like the female dog its body parts are not yet matured enough to bear the stress of pregnancy and giving birth to puppies and taking care of the puppies too so as much as possible we have to breathe and wait at the second heat of the dog and also one major factor too is the registry of the dog some registries they they have a uh, age limits on when to breed the, the female dog so that your breeding will be recognized by the registry after the breeding we will have to wait 30 days for for us to confirm the breeding after the first day of breeding you count 30 days and after that you can do an ultrasound on your bitch ultrasound shows the heartbeat of the puppy so if uh, you bring your dog to a reproductive vet and they they can count already the number of puppies in the womb of the dog and they can confirm it that she is pregnant from the 30th day you can count again another 30 days because that's when the c-section will be performed usually c-sections are performed 60 to 63 days uh, the veterinarian will count it for you they will ask when did you start your first breeding the dates of the second and third breeding so they will rely on those dates as uh, i have told you earlier you have to list it down all the dates that you are doing any breeding with your dog and they will count it and then they will tell you when to come back for the c-section what are the signs that you are female and gonna give birth to puppies already number one you will see her that she's nesting nesting is a way by which the dog is something like preparing a place for her to lay and give birth to the puppies so if she scratches on her bed or scratches on her the corner of her cage you should be alarmed and be ready another sign that she's giving birth to her puppies is there's a lot a very lots of discharge on the female dog especially when she goes potty some like mucous membrane going out of her private another observation that i see when the bitch is give, gonna give birth is they vomit they vomit they throw up a lot after they eat or even though they don't eat they keep on throwing up so be alarmed when they throw up because that's a sign also another effective way by which you can uh, it's a very effective way is to do a rectal temperature and then if it's below 100 degrees Fahrenheit that's when the puppies will be coming in within 24 hours so once you see that be ready to bring your dog to the vet or be ready to assist her to give birth to puppies I'm gonna tell you about veterinarians sometimes in case of emergencies they can answer their phones or sometimes they won't they can't answer their phone because they are asleep at nights so when your female dog is gonna give birth at night time or at an early morning time you have to have a backup vet 
that specializes in emergency situations. You cannot just rely on your regular vet to give that will give the C-section to your dog. Since if they are not available, then you can call up another backup veterinarian or an emergency veterinarian to bring your dog to them. To sum it all up, there are four stages of heat cycle of a female dog. Number one is the proesters. Proesters last from first day to ninth day. So at, at the seventh day or up to ninth day, you have to do progesterone testing on the female. Uh, once the, the female is ready, the vet will tell you that she, she needs to be bred. And then when she's not ready, they will tell you to come back after, after two days or after three days. So when she's ready, they will tell you to breed her. So if you're going to do the artificial insemination, you have to do it every other day up to three times just to make sure that the female takes uh, usually the progesterone levels for artificial insemination it should be like 12 up 12 up so when you're gonna do the tci or the surgical insemination the levels for progesterone testing must be 15 to 25 level okay 15 to 25 when the female is at the right time to breed as the level of progesterone testing says that is called the estro cycle so the the female will be ready to to males and uh, they will be ready to breed so after the estro cycle you have the diestrus cycle where the level is 30 to 40 but you can still breed them but it, it's the chances are very minimal and after the diestrus you have the anestrus cycle which uh, in which it lasts also for two months to three months until the vulva goes back to normal and the ovaries get smaller back to its original form uh, until the next heat cycle comes the major key factor is here is a uh, progesterone testing uh, you have to make sure that before you breed you do you take the levels and do the progesterone testing because that will be your key to breed your dog and to have successful breeding we will have another video for uh, how to successfully whelp the puppies we, we will have another video of how to successfully well puppies and avoid them from dying and how to take care of them properly stand by for that please do like share and subscribe our channel so that you will see other future video uploads thank you and god bless